Hey there everybody and welcome to Leon Fire playing Pokemon Sapphire. So I had some time to record so I decided I'd come here and yes I'm deciding to go down into Rustboro Town because I watched Robbie's video and saw something that I was going to miss if I didn't do this, I'll be honest with you. Plus, uh, Spiper's a bit injured, so I might as well do this. And the next area is about as close from here as it would be going all the way around. It seemed like all around the smart decision to make. Um, I totally blanked on what I was going to say. Well, I've been playing Monster Hunter again. And I've been playing as a lancer rather than a longsword wielder, because normally I stick to the longsword. Ah, uh, I don't want to run into this low level. Well, never mind. Gonna run into a low level battle. Uh, the Viper caught up to everybody else in level, so that's why Marsh Tom's up front now. I bet that Useless has an item by now. Oh, and uh, my friend. Well, we'll just call him Toaster Waffle because that's his YouTube name. But yes, Toaster Waffle has also started a um, let's play of Gen 3 Pokemon game. He's doing Emerald. Oh, it's you. You're that person who not only helped me in Tuttlebird, but also got back my stolen package and even graciously delivered it to Slateport. Captain Sturt informed me that he got the package. Why if I was, uh... Weather references for no reason. Pokeball! This is a gift. Repeat ball. Awful Pokeball. Just, just makes it so that your Pokemon that you've already caught will be easier to catch, which if you're trying to catch Pokemon that you've already caught, I don't know, it seems it seems kind of useless if you're just catching one of each Pokemon like most people would. Uh, so Sean is doing a Gen 3 Let's Play of Pokemon Emerald, which I'm going to link in the description. That's what I've been trying to say this whole time. I've just been blattering on about I don't even know what. Oh, wow, my screen's getting all jumpy from the recording program. But whatever. Hey, there's a Kecleon up there. Why are you not invisible? Yeah, if, in case you didn't know, Kecleon is based on a chameleon, so he's invisible most of the time. He's just kind of a roadblock. This game's Snorlax or Pseudo-Wudo type thing. It's interesting. Except you don't have to go and find the Poke Blue for it or something like that. It's just kind of given to you right there. Which, I don't know, I hated finding it in Pokemon uh, Red and Blue and stuff, so I guess it's a good idea. I should have probably just ridden my bike instead of walked. So, uh, yeah, the Team Aqua guys are gone. Let's go up the cable car. Uh, cable car is ready to go up. Would you like to go on it? Please, step this way. I feel like she's a robot. I never realized that the music is cool. Snow! It's snowy! <laughs> yeah, volcanic ash. I'd love to make a snowman out of that. Ashman! <laughs> Ashman, catch up. Uh, if they expand the sea, something will happen. Hunt them down! And then they're just battling there. They're your typical roadblock. Maxi being awesome. Maxi being awesome and able to handle three people at once. I could probably pull that off. That would be the first case of a triple battle, wouldn't it? Uh, something about expanding the sea. I don't know why anybody would want to expand the sea. Melt the polar ice caps. That would be a better idea. So borrow Groudon, not Kyogre. I just gave total spoilers. <gasps> battle! Sweet. We're working hard for everybody's sake. Like, if there's more water around, water Pokemon will be happy and will give more fun places to swim. Wow, that is your logic for trying to cause an apocalypse. Real smart. Oh, wow, I am, I am way better than you. I sound so pompous. Um, I would do a rich kid voice, but I don't feel like it right now, because... I don't know. So I almost recorded this with gum in my mouth, but I realized how annoying it would be for me to be chewing gum. Plus, I have this bad habit of popping my gum, and everybody around me always gets so annoyed with it. Even though I'm just absentmindedly doing it. Ah, sure, I'll switch to Bishop, since I was in the switchy-choosy thing. Switchy-choosy thing. 
Anyways. Uh, why does Team Aqua, who has barely any variety in Pokemon, have more variety than Hikers? Seriously, fix that, Pokemon people. Give more variety to trainers. Give them cool Pokemon. Cool, rarer Pokemon, or better Pokemon, or something. Give them better AI, like Pokemon Stadium, do that sort of thing. Except for maybe not so over-level. Ooh. T Aqua Admin Matt. Sweet, that's way better than the Tabitha from Emerald. <laughs> I wonder if Tabitha's in this game. If he is, that'd be awesome. I'll just mudshot you and probably kill you because I doubt this move is considered physical, so I won't even take any damage. Woo! Kuchiana, who is also going to be one shot, yeah. The advantages of being over leveled. I don't need this beat up feature. Beat that Robbie. Uh, he probably beats it by recording League of Legends, which I wish I could do, but there's there's problems with that. Just, just trust me. Post commentary is part of the problem. Which I really want to avoid using post commentary for any purpose. I'm sorry that the last episode had to be post commentary, but I don't know why, but when I played the commentary from before, it was silent, which is weird, but whatever. Archie. The power contained in the meteorite by amplifying its power with this machine, Mount Chimney's volcanic activity will stop. <laughs> Eventually, the cooled down crater will fill with rainwater, giving water Pokemon a place to- that's the- that's actually not that bad of an idea. Like stopping the volcanic activity, that would that would stop the volcano from potential eruptions and actually save several towns nearby. Go go ahead, I'm I'm fine with that plan as long as it stops eruptions. We could use that. Oh, intimidate! That'll make my physical attacks do less damage, but I'm gonna use it anyway because I'm all you're not because I'm Batman. Oh wow. Maybe I should have used Water Gun. I hate you so much. Ha! I still hit. Yeah, I'm sticking to uh, Mud Shot, but this is weird that for once somebody isn't being destroyed by me. I like it. Oh, uh, I'm gonna predict that he's gonna use a potion or something. Told you! See, these people are just annoying. Somehow this reminds me of Wally because I'm pretty sure he would use like a super potion on every one of his Pokemon. Which made no sense because he should have used like a hyper potion instead because it was right at the end of the game. I'm just telling you guys everything about the end of this game because I know so much of that. Not really. I'm skipping over a lot actually. Because I forget where all this hidden stuff is. It's been forever since I played it and I don't feel like going through this game slow. I kind of want to go quick. Even though I should go slow, I'll go I'll go slow through another game. Uh, whatever my next game. Ooh, Hecking for the win leveled up. Seriously, give me a nickname idea. Anyone. I'm switching to Bishop. Because Steel Tech's cool. I hope Bishop levels up in the near future. He's the only one who's... He looks tiny and weak, even though he's pretty strong. Uh, he's defensive, so that shouldn't matter if he hits himself, even though he's off the offensive. Whatever. Oh, wow. Well. I'll just stick to strength. Um... He can learn some other Steel-type moves, but I don't know. I forget why I did or didn't do that. I'm confused! Stop being confused! Thank you! See, if you ask people things that- You used a Super Potion already?! Okay, I guess since it didn't heal you fully, it was a good choice. Come on, darn it. Did they make an attempt to have the text be like 3D? Because it looks like it's either got a shadow or something. I don't know. I'm distracted and bored of just spamming the A button. Okay. How are you still confused? It's been forever. Golbat looks a bit funny. His mouth is black. If you could open your mouth that much... And you, it looks kind of like his mouth is his stomach. That's interesting. <laughs> I can imagine just seeing like a mouse jump out of his mouth. Uh, that'd be pretty fun. If you die... 
fucked. Oh, wow. Bishop, I'm not healing you. You better win. Good. Now, depending on his next Pokemon, you're gonna not nah, probably send, uh. Yeah, I'm gonna change Pokemon to the Viper. The Viper's awesome. I have it. And I guess I'll just use one of. I'll just use all of my Pokemon in this battle. Just for fun. Uh, let's start with Glare, because I feel like this battle will be longer than this one turn. You know Crunch, too! I bet mine will be stronger. Glare paralyzes, in case you didn't know. And that's very useful against good Pokemon, because it makes you go first. I'm gonna use the stab move instead. I can't poison him, but it's still awesome. Gary face. Um, if that lowers my speed, it doesn't matter because he's paralyzed, and if it kept me from running, it doesn't matter because I didn't have plans on running. So that was an all-around bad move. Critical hit. It's not very effective. Ha. Doesn't matter. I still beat you. And rough skin hurt me. Wow. <laughs> I remember my Blaziken that I had every move activated rough skin, and it was awful. Uh, no one can stop us. Team Aqua Trail. Don't you ever forget that. There goes Team Aqua. Nancy, thank you. With your help, we thwarted Team Aqua's destructive plan, but this victory doesn't mean the end of their evil plans. We will remain vigilant and keep up our pursuit of evil Team Aqua, because they're evil. Nancy, we shall meet again, because we're the heroes. Yeah, that's how I feel like this is playing out. Probably is playing out like that. Well, let's get off this mountain and get somewhere better, cooler. I should check if I have uh, if any Pokemon I can catch her soon. I think the next Pokemon I can ca I'll come back through here later and beat these trainers. Uh, I think the next Pokemon I can catch is after the next gym. So, yeah. So if you had the Acro Bike, you could go along these rock paths and get up and down this place easily, but considering I have the mock bike because it's faster and I never use it anyway, <laughs> I should just stick to the acro bike, but here we are in Lava Ridge Town, and in this place, ooh, she has an egg, and it doesn't seem to work to cover it in sand. Yeah, I'll, I'll take the egg from the crazy old lady trying to cover it in sand. Uh, up there is the hot spring. I think that was a nice touch. There's buried in sand, which happened in the anime. Where everybody got buried in sand. That was interesting concept. I didn't quite get it. It, it seemed weird to me. Why would you put an egg in that healing thing? It's never gonna... Ah, oh, whatever. I will not question your logic. Well, up here is the hot spring. This guy's gonna say it never runs dry or something. And there's the Pokemart. I might pick up something or other, but I don't think I need anything. And there's a cool shop down here that sells herbs. And I'm just kind of showcasing this place because I need to fill in a minute or two. This isn't the shop. Uh, he's the wife of the guy, and they guess they got it from the daycare or something. He's the wife of the uh, woman. Uh, He's the wife? Wow. He's the husband of the woman who was over there. She's his wife, and she had the egg and gave us the egg. That's what I've been trying to say, but messing up. And I had to use hand motions to keep track of that for myself. Buy some herbs. These do stuff that I don't... Uh, heals status problems. 20 H... 200... 50 HP, 200 HP, status problems, and revised fainted Pokemon. I don't really need any of that right now. So I'm just gonna show you that this is the gym. It's got a bunch of pits, and you have to go through them like a maze. And this is going to be the end of this episode. So, I will see you guys in the next episode.